welcome to another episode of SAF uh, and the kitchen uh, workshop series. So uh, today I'm going to show you uh, and I hope to inspire you also to uh, look through your stuff. Maybe you have like I had some old shit lying around and you can transform it into something useful. And my basic need from the beginning and my idea was I want to put my bipod on my competition rifle further to the front or if possible even in front of the stock because it, it was a little not too stable and it was you know jumping around and um, so my idea was if I can put it further in front of the rifle I get a more sh stable shooting platform. So then I started to dig around uh, through my old stuff and what started out as a bipod extension of some kind turned into a multi-accessory platform uh, based on a Picatinny system that can be used on any of my rifles that have a, that little Picatinny uh, rail on the bottom of the stock. So. I hope you enjoy this and without further ado, let's jump to the video. So, here we are again in my kitchen or our kitchen, I would say our kitchen and I have to give a big thumbs up to Lena, which is my supporter and let, actually let's, let me do things in a, our kitchen. So, since we're living in a small apartment here in Stockholm, uh, the kitchen is the only place where I can reside when I want to fiddle around with my rifles and guns and stuff. So this is where the magic happens. And today I wanted to show you uh, something. I'm going to move the whole tripod with my phone here. Uh, you can see my competition 22LR. And what I want to show you is nothing else than this. This is a ordinary Picatinny rail and I have them on my stocks in the front on, on all my rifles soon not my two hunting rifles but I actually ordered two two more Picatinny rails so I'm gonna put them on and then I can use uh, the same system on all my rifles and what I did was building this thing uh, and from the beginning, what I wanted to do was to have my bipod, which was normally mounted here on this rail that I have under all my rifles. And I wanted it more in, in the front of the rifle like this for a more stable shooting platform because it was kind of wonky to have it there and it was just not stable enough for what I'm doing. I, I do a lot of shooting lying prone, like uh, Swedish field shooting. So what I did was I was having this, this piece lying around. You can see, I don't, I don't think this is for a scope, but this is for something else. I don't remember. It's a 25 millimeter diameter double like a saddle mount and with a Picatinny connection here. And it, now it's probably mounted upside down, I would say, but I knew I had this, and I also had this, which is basically, I don't know if you can see, this is a camera monopod. You can see you have the locking system here, which you can extend. And this one had a upper part, long like this, which I did cut off here because it was, it was stuck and you couldn't adjust it anymore. And I, I didn't use it, it was just lying around. So I had this piece lying around and this old monopod. So I was thinking maybe I can use that, connect them together and then I can extend this part, put on a small, I don't know if you can see that. That's a short Picatinny rail too, just screwed on. And then, then with this, I can move my bipod in front of my rifle where I want it. 
and it even far out like this. And then, then I started to do to put this Picatinny short rail on, mounted it, this here, and I, I thought I, I'm I'm gonna keep this connection. It's it's there on this tube anyway. Maybe I can use it for something. And later on, I just had the idea to take one of my Manfrotto camera base plates, and I did screw it on from under, and then I can use. It's for put it on my tripod too. So I was thinking, yeah, this uh, whole bipod idea is turning out to be a little something a little more, which is good. So uh, I also drilled a hole here so I can put on one of my specials here. And it's this thing. This is also a bipod, which uh, I use on a different rail system, like Anschutz system, so I can just thread it in and connect it. So I can put this on too, here, through this hole and connect everything together if I wanna use this older, bigger, different type of monopod. And also this joint, since it's a, I don't know if you can see, but here on the back side, oh, it's so tight in my kitchen. Here on the back side is, uh, this is also foldable, so what I can do is I can adjust, loosen this, and I can adjust this whole tube. So I can adjust the gun backwards if I want to move the connection point here and the weight distribution more backwards on the tripod. So that was for free too. So it just turned out to, to be a good idea to keep this thing on. And... Uh, Another thing that I was thinking on when I was building this was that this piece, actually, when this is in this position and I'm lying prone and shooting and the legs are down in the dirt and I have this on a center fire or something, then the legs will stay in place and the recoil will move a little this way, so the, the rifle can move backwards, but this is pretty stable on the ground, which was another feature I wasn't thinking of from the beginning, it just came for free. And then <coughs> also sometimes I do field target. So I took, uh, I don't know if you can see, this is basically the same part as this, this is the center part. This is, uh, was an old bipod, the same. So what I did was, I can turn it like this. There was two, two legs here, so I took them off um, and put them on my knee plates. I just drilled a hole here, connected it together like this, and then I can snap this onto my Picatinny system, like this. So I also have Picatinny connections here, so I can snap it on here. But then you can see it's way too much in the front. So what I do is I uh, push this together, take the bipods off, and basically I just flipped the gun or the rifle around. So this end is pointing backwards. And when it's pointing backwards and this is connected like this, it comes here, something like here. And it's perfect knee support for my rifle when I'm shooting. So what I wanted to say with this is don't be afraid to dig around. Maybe you have some old stuff and you need to have something, a new functionality or you want to do something with your rifle or to your rifles if you do it like based on a Picatinny system like I did. <clears throat> Maybe you can build something useful of old stuff. And for me, it was pretty free because I did have this old piece, uh, this uh, old monopod, which I just had to cut off. And I also had this. 
saddle mount for something and since it's 25 millimeters in diameter which is basically the same as most of the bipod tubes are uh, i could use that uh, i don't use 25 millimeters anyway i have 30 millimeters on all my scopes so what i'm going to do is i'm i did a couple of still pictures and i'm going to put them in the end of the video you can you can basically stop the video and take a closer look if you want to see how it looks uh, so that was it for today i hope you have a nice weekend here in stockholm uh the snow is melting kind of slowly it's still cold in the mornings but it can be like five six seven plus daytime tomorrow is saturday and i'm going to the shooting range and gonna have a good time i hope you have a good time too in the weekend and uh I say bye-bye from the kitchen workshop for this time and see you next time. Have a safe weekend. Bye-bye. I might take it to the system that I built uh, with a mount on for putting out a tripod like this. And the bipod mount and the two other free mounts there you can put some stuff on. So this turned out to work pretty well pretty stable to shoot at uh, I didn't try to extend it today to shoot with it because the bench is not deep enough it's too narrow or short but this thing works great I'm really satisfied with how it worked so far conclusion is I do love the wolf night and daytime scope it's just absolutely super accurate easy to use so far and the rifle is handling superbly zeroed in on 18 and just dead on a 36 and on 52 i just have to hold two inches up and i'm just dead on super super happy with that so here is a pick of the unit in non-extended form with uh, a bipod mounted on and here's a close-up of it where you can see the upside down uh, Picatinny saddle mount mounted on the, the old monopod tube, 25 millimeter tube. And here is a, a pick extended form with my bipods I normally use with the special one in the middle. And here's a pick of my knee support or hamster, which I can use for field target and here is a pick of all the accessories I use including a flashlight the bipods and the hamster or knee support for field target and a pick mounted on my tripod I use on daily basis as a photographer including my night and day sight the wolf and here you can see this same setup uh, on my table with a uh, couple of flashlights on